Hi friends, welcome to Interactive Medicine. Today I teach a new topic, the microtubules, its structure and function. The cytoskeleton is a 3D network of filamentous intracellular proteins. It has different shapes, size and composition distributed throughout the cytoplasm. It has actin filaments, microtubules and intermediate filaments are examples of cytoskeleton. And the major functions of this cytoskeleton are it provides mechanical support, maintains cell shape and rigidity and enable the cell to adopt highly asymmetric or irregular profiles, plays an important in establishing structural polarity and different functional domains within a cell. The structure of microtubules. Before we uh, studying this, where we can see the microtubules? They are present in most cell types being particularly abundant in neurons, leukocytes and blood platelets. Microtubules are the predominant constituents of mitotic spindle of dividing cells and also part of axonym of cilia, flagella and centrioles. The microtubules are tubular polymers of tubulin that form part of the cytoskeleton that provides the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells and some bacteria with structure and shape. Microtubules are highly dynamic and it can grow long as 50 micrometer. The outer diameter of microtubule is 24 to 25 nanometer and inner diameter is 12 nanometer. The microtubule hull, the hollow space inside is known as lumen and it has both positive and negative end. How be the microtubules forms? It is formed by the polymerization of a dimer which is composed of two globular proteins, the alpha and beta tubulin. The alpha and beta tubulin subunits are approximately 50% identical at the amino acid level. 50% amino acid level and each have the molecular weight 50 kilo dalton the alpha and beta tubulin dimers polymerizes end to end in a linear protofilament here protofilaments can extend by addition of alpha beta tubulin dimers here and the next here and so on then how be the arrangement of protofilaments to become a typical microtubule. They are formed by the parallel association of 13 protofilaments. But also remember this, microtubules composed of few or more that is uh, 11 to 16, 11 to, sorry, 11 to 16, Protofilaments have been observed in vitro. Microtubules have a distinct polarity that means it has both positive end and negative end. It is crucial for its biological function. Tubulin uh, polymerizes end to end with the alpha with the beta units of one tubulin dimer contacting the alpha subunit of the next dimer. That means we can see the alpha uh, tubulin here then it is conducted with beta tubulin and this dimer is uh, conducted with the next alpha tubulin and 
beta tubulin dimer. Therefore, in a protofilament, one yen will have the alpha subunit. You can see here the negative in half the alpha subunit and the positive in the half the beta subunit and one end one end the alpha subunit exposed while the other end the beta subunit is exposed the beta subunits only exposed in positive end and the alpha subunit only exposed in negative end Protofilament, uh, protofilaments bundled parallel to one another with the same polarity because here only we can see the beta then next beta and the beta tubulin here and parallel arrangement the microtubule extension can occur at both the positive and negative end because in positive end uh, the alpha subunit can attach here and the uh, negative end the beta will attach in negative end beta will attach in positive end alpha will attach beta subunits can also attach okay but it is significantly more rapid at positive end How become the tubulin dimer attaches to another tubulin dimer or uh, how uh, how is possible the uh, shortening of microtubule the event is known as dynamic instability here we understand a major difference between alpha and beta subunits the beta subunit has the capability to uh, hydrolyze the GTP into GDP only beta has the capacity to con uh, hydrolyze the GTP into GDP but the alpha can't so using one ATP of energy beta subunits can bind more tubulin dimers here we can see whether the beta subunit tubulin dimer bound to GTP or GDP influences the stability uh, if the here we can see a dimer and this is the beta tubulin if the beta tubulin attaches to GTP it will lead to the polymerization here also we can see a dimer if the beta tubulin is uh, by bounded to GDP it will eventually lead to the shrinking of microtubule uh, because the GDP convert into GTP by taking one ATP of energy from the binding energy of dimers thus this GTP cycle is essential for the dynamic instability and we have to learn two words from here the catastrophe and rescue catastrophe means the situ to uh, from the the switch from growth to shrinking that means from here the catastrophe will occur and rescue is the opposite event GTP bound tubulin can begin adding to the tip of the microtubule again uh, providing a new cap known as GTP cap and protecting the microtubule from the shrinking okay uh, next we uh, study about the nucleation this is the last process sorry uh, nucleation is the uh, last topic we have to learn nucleation is the event that initiate the formation of microtubules from the tubulin dimer microtubules are typically nucleated or self assembly to start polymerase and organized by organelles called as MTOCs that means the microtubule organizing centers here the MTOCs can be a cell organelle 
that uh, for example Golgi apparatus or Senroso or uh, even a microtubule itself or there be a, uh, there be an another tubulin is we need to study that means uh, that is a gamma tubulin which is entirely different from alpha and beta subunits the gamma tubulin combines with the several other prote uh, associated proteins to form a lock and wash structure known as gamma tubulin uh, ring complex the complex act as a template for alpha beta tubulin dimers to begin polymerization here we can see it act as a cap of the negative end it act as a cap at the here with the negative end and the microtubule growth will uh, uh, towards the positive end uh, for example in a uh, centrosome and the uh, growth of the growth of microtubule is uh, uh, grow from the negative end to positive end here I can see this microtubule and the negative end here is the lock and wash structure of the gamma tubulin and associated proteins I think this topic will easily understand for you and the last one is what is basal, uh, basal bodies basal bodies are also, also a uh, microtubule organism center uh, for cilia and flagella and I think this video is helpful for you okay uh, if you like this video make a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends bye have a nice day